remember me? I'm back. I have not vlogged since the beginning of COVID. And truth be told, I'm not even sure I'm going to publish this episode. It's a dry run. But uh, I'm heading to Tel Aviv now for a back-to-back day of really, really exciting meetings. I'll try to take you along for the meetings, those that I can. And uh, hopefully we can start the vlog all over again. Let's call it Season 2, Post-COVID Vlogging. Since last time, I've gotten a new car. Check it out. If you're not familiar, it's a Polestar, Polestar 2. company was kind of made by Volvo, and then they sort of kind of broke up. But um, they are affiliated still, and Polestar made its own brand. Pretty sick car. If you're into EVs, electric vehicles, definitely check out Polestar. And with that, heading off to Tel Aviv. boiling hot and very noisy Tel Aviv. That's the good news. Bad news is that I got a parking spot, which I'm not sure is legal. Let me show you. You got that sign for handicapped. That's that car right there. My car is right there. Now I couldn't get any closer to the cat, to the curb, but it is blue and white. It's blue and white. I guess it should be okay. Although it's a pretty bad parking job. I just couldn't get any closer. Now we pray. Hopefully I won't get a ticket, but I wasn't gonna keep circling. And now I'm headed to Serona for a marathon of meetings back to back all day. It's gonna be a good one, but holy heck, it's hot in here. All right, let's go. Okay, it is a monumental moment because, as I mentioned earlier, this is the first episode of the vlog post COVID. I have not vlogged in a very long time, a very long time. And uh, we got this new camera, this new Sony ZV-1 Mark II from Adorama. And um, yeah, I'm planning on vlogging pretty consistently. Anyway, I'm sitting here in Biga Cafe, which is my office. You'll see a lot of it. Sitting in the corner is this good looking guy, David Yahid, who I know for- Nine, 10 years? Yeah, more like 10 years. Like that? And who's an entrepreneur, who's a marketer? Marketer, biz dev. Biz dev, does my newsletter for me can go on, can go on and on. So instead of me talking about you, who the heck is David Yahid? Tell me your spiel. My spiel. I come from a marketing background, done uh, marketing for corporates like Porsche and FIDF in the US. Moved here about 10 years ago, moved back here about 10 years ago. So with your recommendation, by the way, we spoke in New York before I moved here. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've <clears throat> uh, been doing uh, helping tech bridge the gap into the US since. Love that. By the way, I got invited yesterday to a Porsche I don't know what kind of event, if some launch or whatever, and I'm like, German. I mean, I couldn't come because it was Friday anyway, but yeah. we, we, we can, we've had this discussion about German, right, yeah, German yeah, products, German not German products, and... whatever. <laughs> anyway, so what are you doing now? We launched something called Aviv Growth. It's with, uh, with Aviv Growth Fund. Uh, this product's called Access, where we basically have very deep corporate U.S. connections, and we help Israeli tech get direct connections to decision makers in the U.S. Wait, back up. Are you no longer doing the picture thing? The pictures, you know, we're working on that on the side. The oh. primary thing right now is Aviv uh, Access. So, okay, I, so I knew nothing of this. Did you tell me this already? Uh, no, we were going to no, schedule a mail. I don't feel, I don't feel yeah. too senile. So, <laughs> we'll just dumb it down for me. What is it exactly? So, we've got a partner in the U.S. Uh, from Aviv Growth Partners. For, he's got ridiculous corporate U.S. connections. What's Aviv? It's, what is it? Aviv Growth Partner is a Boston-based VC. Uh, partner is in Boston and Israel. The partner on the ground here in Israel is Israel Ganot. He's the one that brought Mass Challenge to Israel. Oh, of course. Right. So he's the partner here in Israel, and the counter partner in the U.S. is uh, Scott, and there's a few more other partners uh, involved. Uh, and it's a VC. So no, it's a VC. Got it. Very deep. They, they founded themselves with the idea of very deep corporate U.S. ties. Let's help Israeli tech connect to enterprise U.S. Israeli tech is great at going after SMBs. You know, everyone has a challenge with, uh, with consumer, and then corporate it's a huge gap between the culture and the geography and everything that Israel, uh, you know. Are they deploying capital though? They're deploying capital also. You mean not all the money left Israel? No, There's money's coming in. I mean, that's right. that's what I see. I see new funds being created. TLV Partners raised over $100 million. Another fund's about to announce uh, $110 million. Uh, yeah, this look, guy. Uh, we, we won't get into it. Still, still under the radar, but I know Adracing even made a, an investment just now in Israel. Oh, really? When they usually don't. They're not big on uh, Israel investments. Wow. You know the company? I know the company. You'll have to tell me off the record. <laughs> okay, cool. So bottom line is you're, you're doing this and you're working with Aviv over here. In addition, you're building this app called? Pixend. Pixend, which yeah. is super simple. You're at an event. Instead of like creating a Google Drive and everyone throw their things, basically you take a picture of someone they get it you can take a picture of someone you get it instantly 
Right. So like the main benefits are, first of all, you get them instantly when it's hot, not three days later after you, you're after the event and you don't care about the pictures anymore. And then you get your pictures uh, in real time. So that means you have the photographer walking around, he snaps a picture, 30 seconds later it's on your phone. Right. There's also a huge privacy there because now you don't have everybody seeing everyone's pictures. You right. get your pictures and you choose if you want to distribute them or not. So let me tell you a use case that I needed this app so badly a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Pardon the flex, but I was invited to the president's house for some like, I don't know, event yeah. with a delegation or whatever, and they had a photographer walking around taking pictures with the president as he shakes everyone's hands. Exactly. I have not gotten the picture till now. Right. I'm like, dude, would you took a picture, give me the picture of the president and me. Like, anyway, very right. annoying. And, but I do and, think of you. That and was... you have an online presence, people who know you, who know who you are. So as a photographer is going through, you might be like, oh, I know this guy. I know he'll also send his picture. But, but if he doesn't know me, what about the 50 other people who don't know him by name? Exactly. So anyway, so can people download the app? People could download the app. We even made it easier. So we made a web-based version, so you don't even have to download it. Spell it. Uh, Pixend, P-I-X-E-N-D. Beautiful. Dot .live is the live version. Beautiful. Uh, PIXND.app is the website with all the information about it. One day you'll be able to tell your kids that you were the first interview on the second episode of Hillel's Vlog. <laughs> Thanks, awesome. dude. It's always good to see Thank you, my you. friend. Good to see you, too. I gotta work on my next newsletter, I know. He distributes my newsletter, so he sits on me, and without him, I'd never do it, but uh, I'm gonna do it now. Anyway, have a good day, dude. Thank you, you too. All right, this is interview number two. In season number two, I don't know if I should call it season number two. I did 450 episodes. Is that a whole? Is that a season? 450? I don't know. I, I got a meeting Joe John. You know Joseph? You talked about this. You don't know Joseph. Maybe I don't know. He's oh, oh, editor. Yeah, yeah. You, okay. you've told me about. He's that. coming next. Yeah. Um, okay, so this is interview number two. Still figuring out this camera. I've been using Panasonic for years. This is Sony. So much to learn. Trying to figure out right now if the if the frame is straight, if it's not straight, how the sound is because I'm not I'm using a mic as opposed to like a thing on my shirt, which I'll probably switch to. Okay. Who are you? My name is Nina Rob. I'm originally from Chicago. Now I live in Israel. <laughs> My company's Line One Consulting. I feel like you're still. Are you really? <laughs> you're on the. You're on the line, right? I'm on the line. I'm on the line. You know, like I'm feeling it out. I spend half my time. You are here. You're coming. I'm here. I'm here. Yes. But in terms of time-wise, I'm like, I spend half my time here, half my time in New York. Okay. Yeah. And what's your ba professional background? So I studied finance and data science in undergrad at University of Illinois. I did a few internships at Deloitte here in Tel Aviv, um, and also at a startup called Air here uh, in Israel. While I was in college, I actually had a mentor. Uh, that was paired with through Tamid. It's like an organization that allows U.S. college students to work with Israeli companies, right. and he would do um, startup consulting on the side as like kind of like a fractional CFO and finance, doing financial modeling. So early on in my college career, he asked if I wanted to work on some of the clients with him, um, and I said, "Yeah, sure." And then over you know course of a year, or two years, he ended up going off and doing something else, and also then kind of started giving me more responsibility and referring me some of his clients, which that's how I kind of got my foot in the door in terms of doing what I'm doing. And then fast forward like a year, maybe two years later, and a year and a half ago, that's when I met uh, Hillel. And Who introduced us? I reached out to you. You said it on LinkedIn or what? On LinkedIn. Yeah. Funny. Yeah. Now I feel like you're no, but I, from another No, 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 but I, the reason I knew you, I knew of you because my family's from Goosh. Oh, right, right, right. So right. I knew like your family and Got then it. I was like, and I think maybe one of my cousins was like, oh, like you're interested in business, whatever, you're making Aliyah, yeah, you should talk to you, Hillel. Right. So I remember I, re I sent you a message, <laughs> I sent you a message on LinkedIn and we hopped on a call and I was like still in college and like, I didn't even know like what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> It's okay, it happens to me a lot, but my last I'm meeting, sure. no, my like, last meeting, I was, I did a lecture a couple of weeks ago, and she was at the lecture, and she's like, can we have coffee? I'm like, yeah, so I met her, and, she, and like, she's, she's also, she's in data science, but like, she, there was no like, I need this from you. We were just like, she's like, the connection, whatever, yeah, yeah people do that best to me now, meeting, you know, it's, best kind of yeah, because you never know, like, 100%. it's good to just make the connection, right, so, so I mean, yeah, look at it, look, look at it, like, everything that we've done together since. Yeah, so, 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 so tell the story, that's, that's a cool story. So we met a year and a half ago? Yeah. Okay, and what happened next? Um, and you posted me on your LinkedIn, and like, I just got flooded with messages. You know? that happens. Like, it was crazy. Like, I probably had like 300 LinkedIn, <laughs> LinkedIn requests, everything, like probably 30 emails or so. Um, and pretty much from different startup founders that either needed decks or you know, a business plan or market research or something along those lines. And you know, one thing led to another where that just kind of catalyzed everything and that's when I started my company, Line Run. Line Run dot com? Line Run Consulting. Line Run Consulting dot com. So you, you offer investor decks 
market research, all marketing material, like collateral, like um, like Marcom stuff? Yeah, so pretty much like the way I say it, it's kind of like investment making for the venture capital tech world. Um, and like the way that I've kind of mapped it out for clients is like kind of a three to six month roadmap where you do the market research and you transfer it to the business plan, kind of doing that strategy work, but then you build out their financials. Then you do any preliminary branding that will help with the actual like materials, like the decks, the one pagers, um, any just like supporting collateral, and then kind of more of like helping them with like the pitch and pretty much fundraising coaching. So like awesome. depending on you know clients can be anywhere from pre seed to you know late stage. So that can be different areas of that can be more applicable than others. Love it. So I could just say one thing. I've sent Nina, how many clients have I sent you? Just to be a rough estimate, 50? Probably 50, yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> but, and no. then some of them, the others, are probably like indirectly through some connection. Not one of them, not one has come back to me and said anything other than Nina was awesome. Like literally not one. So you have a 100% success rate, so keep that up. And it's really, really cool. And I'm fortunate to have played a small part, but you really are doing very, very well. Companies love you. I feel like this is going to become an empire. And my only request, don't forget the little people. No. I literally, like, I could not say any more amazing things about Hillel. Like, all right, all right, all right. I, this I'm isn't about me. It's about so you. I'm so serious. Okay, so, thanks. So yeah. listen, Nina, keep building your thing. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank keep acting you. like a mensch because that's what everyone loves about you. And that's the most important thing in business. Most people don't know that. And uh, it's uh, it's... It's fun to watch the student exceed this, the teacher. I mean, I'm not your teacher, but you know what I mean. Like you started, and now you're growing bigger than me. So it's amazing to watch. So keep at it. And if I can help with anything, you know where to find me. Of course. Thank awesome. you. Thank awesome. You. How could I start season two of the vlog without interviewing the man who made it all possible? Jojo Goldsmith, who just got married. Mazel tov, dude. Thank you. Thank how's, you. how's married life? It's new married life is amazing. You know, my, you know what my uncle says? What? Happy wife, happy life? No, he says marriage is a beautiful institution. Assuming you want to live in an institution. Anyway. It's too, too well, soon, too yeah. soon. Tell the story of how we met in the first place. It's a great story. How we story. met in the first place. Um, I was following Hillel, I don't even know, it's seven, eight years ago at this point now. Something like that. Um, I was living in New York and I was following Hillel's stuff and I knew at some point I wanted to come back to Israel to live. So I was coming to visit my, my family. Some of my family lives here over a, pa a Passover vacation. And I reached out to Hillel and I said, hey, Hillel, I've been following you for a while. I'd love to just meet, pick your brain. And Hillel immediately responds, sorry, no time. So I, I forgot that part of the Yeah, song. I know. I believe no, you. No, that I actually happened. That actually okay, happened. okay. And then this was like, let's say on like a Sunday. Um, you know, granted, I did reach out like a, a couple days before. So your, your, your calendar was very booked. Tuesday night at like 10 p.m. You messaged me, you're like, hey, I have a cancellation tomorrow morning at like 8 a.m. in Herzliya. Uh, can you make it? I was like, yeah, sure. Awesome. So I went to Herzliya and we started chatting, talking about cameras and editing. and. But you missed the most important part. That I can't hurt Celia anymore. No. <laughs> Most important part is yeah. you're like, I just want to work with you. I'm going to do it for free. Oh. Yeah. Right? Well, yeah. I'll tell you why it's important. I'll tell you why it's important. I have no doubt that I knew and you knew eventually that you would deliver and that it would turn into a business. But you offered, instead of doing what everyone else does, which is make a promise, monetize, and then hopefully deliver, you flipped it, which is what I do in my whole career. You delivered first. So I have to say that I, I give a lot of credit to my video production career to Hillel and to the time that we met because it's exactly what it was, is going into it without asking for anything. And I, I wasn't looking to make money. I was just looking to learn from someone that was better than me and learn from someone who has experience and could, could maybe introduce me to people. And now he's killing it. I mean, how big has the business gotten? You don't have to give me numbers, but like, how many video, how many companies have you worked with? How many organizations? Have, you've worked with camps, you've worked with, give me an idea of how, how, what kind of scale you've achieved. I, I don't know, I can't give a number of the clients. Hundreds um, though, right? You've been hundreds of videos. Probably, yes, for sure. I mean, I've done 450 for you, but that's one client. Right. But right. no, I, I think it's more of that I, I don't market myself and thank God, and I attribute a lot of that to Hillel and us meeting, And but I, I don't have to market myself because people fortunately come to me. It's pretty awesome, dude. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. Keep yeah. doing what you're doing. Yeah, you too. But, thank you. I but, know you hate this. But, but Hillel's amazing. But, and you do amazing but, for everyone. But, don't forget the little people, dude. Don't forget the little people. Yeah. Like, when you are built yourself like a freaking Vayner media size thing, yeah. don't be like, dude, I'm too big to do your videos, you know what I'm saying? And I also am always looking for 
videographers, editors help me out and stuff. Um, best ways to even best. people like I'm looking for anybody people starting out people that are, are freelancers who have 10-15 years of experience what's I've the best way to reach you uh, the best way to reach me is probably my email it's awesome to see you you know yeah. start from the ground up and build yourself an empire uh, yeah I, and, I appreciate uh, everything you've done for me most important thing is we have a good time always that's the most important always. thing anyway Jojo keep doing yeah. what you're doing man Thank it's you. fun and let's start this yeah. thing over again I appreciate it okay just had my last meeting in Tel Aviv heading to the car now and I am Hoping and praying I did not get a ticket. Pray for me. No ticket! And on that note, I made it home. It is insanely hot. Getting ready for a wedding tonight in uh, the north. Long ride ahead. But all in all, it was a fantastic day. And um, tomorrow's gonna be truly insane. Back-to-back -back meetings from the morning till the night. And you'll be joining me. See you tomorrow.